everybody and welcome back to more Ships Challenge 2! We are on Spring Mines and we're gonna have to find a way to get past that walker and oh man. Okay, I don't know why this keeps not getting my inputs. I guess I have to select the window there. Okay, so do this. Oh, the walkers behave like links. Nice. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, I get it. Because they behave like links, we have to make sure that they're... Okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, so you can put blocks on walls? Sweet. Okay, how are we going to do that? So we can't push these in a row, right? Nope. Okay, so we just have to make sure they're all stuck there. Okay, come on. No. Go back. No, come on. No. Oh, I had to... No, I had that. No. Okay, hang on. Let's try that again. This is going to be kind of annoying to optimize, I bet. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Now, you're going to have to come out here and... Oh, no. He's going to have to come out here. Yeah, this is going to be annoying to optimize. <laughs> Oh, wait, these have to be on, so, right, because he can't go through fire, I forgot. Come on. There you go. Oh, he gets destroyed. Well, that's nice. I thought walkers can't go in through fire. Maybe they can go through the flamethrowers, though. Okay, well, that was cool. Hotkeys. Oh, I get it. Hotkeys. Bah! Okay. Let's see here. So we need... Ooh, there's more stuff down there. Okay, so we're going to need more than just this one dirt block to get over to the hot key... Uh, to the... Some of these keys. Um, how are we going to pull this off? Because we're going to need to bridge through both fire and water to do this. And what is causing the ticking sound? How about a little fire, Scarecrow? I'd rather not, but thanks, though. See, here's my problem. We go through here. Oh, wait. We, get, we do have a block here. Okay. I'm assuming there's going to be, like, a fire boot or something. Except we just totally trapped ourselves. Well, that happens. So, is there any other way out? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, let's start over. How are we supposed to do this? interesting so we can't breach that oh we can go there okay because there's only three necessary to get in there okay tell you what let's let's do that I do like it is kind of a little bit irritating at times but I do like how there is a sound for just about everything in this game like pushing blocks pushing toggle buttons there's a sound now I mean there's so many sounds it is kind of a little bit fun it makes the game a little bit more lively I suppose Okay, now let's see what we can do here. What is that controlling in the first place? Oh, the flamethrower. Right? Why isn't it really going off? Can this go over? It can go over dirt. Interesting, okay. So how am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to, like, go get this guy through here like this yes okay looks like that was the wise decision so now we can get all the keys which is awesome possum man I'm having so much fun playing this game these levels are interesting like they feel familiar but yet they feel new and fresh you know they there's some fresh ideas in here and I really love them all right whoop and now for three lessons in time management. How fast do you think you are? Quick time one. Oh, okay, so th these allow us to get more time. There's not enough time to finish this level without picking up the time bonuses. Each bonus is worth 10 seconds. Well, how about that? All right, I'll take it. So this is easy. All we have to do is just walk to the exit. Th this could be a really interesting optimization opportunity, like putting these things all over the levels, like that would be so cool. 
quick time too. Okay, so we really have to be careful here. Each time penalty you hit takes 10 seconds from your time. So, just go and zigzag without hitting any of them. Alright, that was easy. Quick time three. Stepping on the stopwatch starts and stops the clock. Alright. There we go. The time is frozen. I wonder if we can exit with the time frozen. Can we f exit with the time frozen, I wonder? Okay, let's let's see. Let's see if it works. It does. Okay, good. Freeze frame. Ooh, this is going to be fascinating. Okay, hang on. Okay, so right now... So if I get this, I'll run out of time. Oh, I don't. Well, that's nice. So right now, I really want to get lots of time. I'm going to try to go through this little time maze thing here. Okay, that's worth the risk. That's not really... Okay, and those really aren't worth the risk, are they? Alright, I think we've gotten all the positive ones. Let's get out of here. That was fun. You must be joking. Um, is this like a puzzle? Oh, I bet this is like a find items under blocks challenge. And oh, there's only five seconds. Okay, then. Um... Oh, there's positive and negative time. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I I got I get the picture. Let's let's try this. All right, we got enough time to do everything now. That's really clever. I like that. And like the pound signs represent the chips. Oh, that's so cool. I wouldn't waste time reading if I were you. Don't blame me there. Reticulating spleens. Splines? Okay. Um, what does that even mean, anyway? Good question. That did not help. Neither did that. This is going to be a guessing game. How am I supposed to even get out of this? That's not even safe, so... Oh, you're supposed to block... Are you supposed to block slap? Okay, hang on a sec. There's got to be a way to figure this out without dying here. Okay, let me think. So ultimately, I'm going to need to go through there. Okay, there we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, people. And then we go through here. Yes, excelente. Something tells me this is a trap, isn't it? Hmm. Let's try going through here like this. I'm going to try to block slap. Whoa. Block slap this. Oh, right. There's splash delay. My bad. So it was a trap after all. Oh, come on. That's not what I was trying to do. Okay, let's try to go fast on this one. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but let's see here. There we go. Good, good, good. And boom, baby. All right, we completed that with no problem. And now a level for all those frustrated players that just want to blow something up. Silo Bomber. Okay. Sometimes you don't need to pick up all the chips. All right. Um, so the idea behind this... Okay, we get all kinds of dynamite here, so that's nice. Let's count how many dynamites there are, just to be on the safe side. Three. Four. Okay. There's four so far. There's another one there. Let's not pick it up yet. So there's six that we've found. Seven. Okay. Eight. All right, so there's eight dynamites. Let's try to get all the chips first. How does that sound? All the chips first. Without blowing them up, that is. Which could be a bit of a challenge. Okay, I think that's a good spot. 
Awesome. Eight left. I wonder if there's any more groups of four like that. That would be cool if there were. Uh, I don't know. These are all pretty scattered around. Hmm. I think we may have to start... Ooh, hang on. This might work. This might be good. Except these would blow up the chips, won't they? And I don't want to blow up the chips. That would be a bad thing. Huh. I can't get all three from that one, it would seem. That one is just so perfectly placed. Hmm. We need to get a move on. Let's, let's go ahead and start blowing stuff up. Uh, this is another one that's just kind of a little frustrating. Let's put it there. Good. Six. Let's get another group of two going here. I think that will take care of all of those. Yes, okay. I'm going to get that flag later. But for now, I'm going to get this guy. See, I think I'm going to blow up the chip. Let's see if that happens. Yep, I did. Oh, and it didn't hit this! Grr. Not cool, bro. Also, I don't think that's going to accomplish anything. Yeah, except gaining access to the flag. That ought to, though. There you go. All right, one ship remaining. Where is it? And I need one more dynamite. Dynamite, dynamite, where are you? Here you go. Hey. Hey, stop. Hey, re respond to my key inputs. No! Ah, the, the game was not responding to my key inputting. It was like frozen, and it was just kept, it kept going and going like that. That was not cool. Okay, that ought to do the trick for those. Okay, good. Optimizing a level like this is going to be fascinating. Like, I am looking forward to seeing how that works out. And I think I might be able to get all three of these from here. Wait, maybe not. No, it's going to have to be two. I'm going to have to sacrifice one of the chips, aren't I? Grr. Game, you are a tough mistress. All right, eight ships. Where's that group of four? I know there's a group of four here somewhere, right? Did I do something wrong? Oh, it was this. I did do it wrong. Aw. Now I'm all bummed out. Oh, well. Oh, no, I, I don't think I can even get any flags now. In fact, I don't even know if I'll have enough dynamite for the whole... Wait. Okay, no, I do. I do. Okay, good. We don't need to worry about flags right now. Alright, so let's go grab the last two groups of chips here. That should do it. For these. Okay, we can get the times two flag if we can get another another flag. Any group of two chips that's nearby? Come on, there's gotta be one somewhere, right? Oh wait, good. We got another dynamite. Thank goodness. Okay, please have a group of two chips around here. Please have a group <gasps> another one! Okay, good. So we weren't out we weren't running out after all. Okay, I'm going to place this there. That ought to take care of everything. Good, alright. So I'm going to start collecting bonus flags now that I don't have to worry about wasting bombs. Okay, get that one, and I'm going to get the 5, or the 1k over here. And then I'm going to get that times two, since I think that's all the bombs we can get. Alright. That was a pretty fun level. I 
I gotta admit, the time lim limits on some of these are a little too strict, but it's still really fun. Middle school. Oh, this is a level by Scott Feeney! I remember this! I remember this level! This was a CC1 level that he made. Okay, hang on. Okay, let's go back. Oh. Well, that's just peachy. Okay. No, 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 no. This way. How are we gonna get in there? Oh, we need fire boots. Where are the fire boots in this level? Uh. How are we gonna get in there? That's. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that was silly. Hey, I'm not sliding anymore. I'm not sliding anymore. You don't need to make that annoying sound. Seven ships to pass. Is there anything that allows this thing to go... No, okay. It's been a while since I played the CC1 version of this. I forgot how you solve it. Okay, thank goodness that's over. Seven ships to pass, I know, but I don't know where the fire boots are. Oh! Right, okay, you have to go through that way. Alright, this is a fun level. I do remember this. This is cool. Okay, now we go through this. Yes, then we get our stuff taken away. Okay, good. Okay, now what? Go back here? I fail to understand how that helps us with our... Oh! <laughs> Those are extras! Okay, sweet. That was fun. Long Lost Friend. Aww. I love Long Lost Friend. <gasps> it's Corridor! It's Corridor! It's Corridor from the original game. Oh, man. Yes. I wonder if this is like a reference level. If this is a reference level, then that's awesome. Okay, let's see here. So we, we need to destroy this, right? Oh man, check this out, it's Corridor! It's Corridor! Okay, how are we supposed to... I guess, well, we like the original, we're going to have to sacrifice one block at least. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. Oh man, I wonder how many references there are to other levels in this. It's going to be so cool. Also, what's the point of the fire down there? Is it just decorative like this is? Okay, what's this supposed to be a reference to? Just balls going everywhere? Maybe nice day or something? No! Now you have to do the whole block thing all over again. Alright. So I'm going to try to see if there's a way around this that doesn't involve... No, there's not. Because if I push those left and right ones, then that's not going to work. Because then their chips will be trapped, and we don't want the chips to be trapped. So, never mind. Alright. Alright. I hope I don't have to get killed again here in this next part. I just wonder what all the... The other stuff is supposed to re re represent, if anything. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just there for fun. Maybe the corridor thing was just there just to be there. Maybe it wasn't really meant to be a reference. It was just a ripoff of corridor or something. Or maybe the same designer did it, which in which case it's not really a ripoff. If you're ripping off yourself. Oh, right! Monsters can't go on yellow keys! I forgot about that! I'm so, I've been playing in Microsoft lately so much in CC1 that uh, I completely forgot that that's a behavior. And yeah, I, I'm going to need to do this, aren't I? There we go. Okay. Okay, so next time I'm going to approach the other one here from the left, because that will probably be faster. But yeah, I am enjoying this game a lot. I Like I said in the one of the first videos, I like the fact that there's both levels that are long and levels that are short. 
Because honestly, the, the original levels had a lot of long levels. Not really much in the way of short levels, though. I mean, there were some, but it wasn't like this. Not all mixed up like this. Whereas, like, Chuck's Challenge had a lot of really short levels, but not a lot of really nice epic levels. So, I, I do appreciate the mixture here. That's a nice little touch. Okay, can we please do this correctly without the dying teeth? Okay, I need to make sure you're being cooperative. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't die again. Alright, so now we move on to... Green Door. What do we have here? Blobs, oh boy. Blobs aren't cool. Okay. Now we get more balls. Ooh, is that a Bounce City reference I'm seeing up there? It might be... Oh, what is this here? Road sign? Is this a road sign thing? Game, do not... Okay, please do not do my keystrokes incorrectly again. Okay. I just want to wait, just in case. Okay, and I'm going to push this here, because that's the logical thing to do. Okay. So now the question is, what next? I'm going to go in here first. It makes the most sense. Okay. I'm just worried I'm going to do something wrong, and I really want to make sure I don't. Okay, so these gliders are just going to zip right through here, right? Okay, let's make sure this is all filled in so there's not, like, mass chaos going on with these guys. Well, there's only two of them, so, I mean, I can't imagine something that crazy happening. Oh, well, something did something that crazy did happen. Okay, so now what? Uh, how do we get to the exit? I don't get it. Did I waste that yellow key? I hope I did not. How do I get down there? Is it down this way? It is down this way. Okay, I'm just going to wait just to be safe. I do not want to risk anything at this point. Yeah, what's the title referencing? I mean, all these other things don't really seem to be explicit CC1 references, so I don't know. But whatever, we're on to Desert Oasis. Ooh, we got a nice aesthetic level here. Cool. With only 75 seconds to go. Alright, let's see here. Just search the Oasis for treasure or something. We got a little maze going on here. This probably leads to something. Or not. Let's see what this says. The Random Force 4 really has a sequence. We know. Okay, um... I don't understand what it is we're doing. Maybe there's nothing here and we're supposed to focus on what's near the... Okay, here we go. Here we are. Okay, so right now... Okay, this is annoying. Um... I want to get on a left one. Okay, there. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't think I have enough time to beat this. Okay, now that I've pushed that up, this shouldn't be too bad. Except I'm running out of time. Okay, come on. Nope. Forget it. Alright, let's, let's go back and do this again. Can we please do... Okay, here we go. Left. Okay, there we go. I like the fact that you have to exploit the random force floor sequencing on a level like this. Oh, wait a minute. Don't want to do that. That would have been bad. There we go. We made it. Trial of Elements. Ooh, this was on uh, the Steam screenshot, or the Steam page with all the screenshots. Okay, so Elemental Trials, huh? So we don't want to get those suction boots because they're gonna, just going to launch us right into fire, so let's just keep going on through the maze here. Okay. This is pretty linear so far, so that's good. Ooh. 
Um, and now we're going to switch out to fire boots. Okay. This is fun. We still cannot get those without any consequence. And ice skates. And now we can get the suction boots with the ice skates. Now we can go everywhere. Well, everywhere there's suction and ice. Which I guess is not really a lot of places. Okay, do we have like a Sokoban type thing going on here? What's this all about? Lots of blocks and... Okay, I see what we have to do. Okay, so this is going to take a while, I bet. So we're going to have to push them down here. And then... This is kind of a little tedious, but... Shouldn't be terribly bad. Oh, there's a there's an area over that way. I wonder how you get there. Okay, now I'm really curious about how you get there. <clears throat> I want to go back and look at this after we're done solving this level. Almost there, or almost halfway there at least. And yeah, I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but I'm not going to do that. In fact, for the my return trip, I'm not even going to solve the level again. I'm just going to look and see if we can get to that hint. Because if we get the... Well, actually, no, if we get to the hint, we get to the exit, right? So maybe you don't even need to do the long Soko Band after all. Hmm... Tell you what, I'm going to do some clever block pushing here. Something like this. There we go. Awesome possum. Or awesome blossom. Yeah, I want to see if I can find the alternate route. Alright, there we go. We are officially done with level 48. That was fun. Caitlin's Maze. Oh yeah, this was a level from uh, the uh, Richard Field website days. I remember this. Except it was unsolvable in CC1. Okay, let me uh, let me go back here. Uh, select level. Let's go to Trial of Elements again. I don't know who designed Caitlin's Maze and all that. Well, I guess Caitlin. Okay. So we need the we need the flippers to get to this place. How do we do this? Let's see. I mean, admittedly, we did kind of jump at the chance. Okay, so we need the fire boots, but how do we get the fire boots without getting these stolen? Oh, I bet we're supposed to leave these here. Drop. Ah, uh -huh. all right. Congratulations, you found the shortcut. Yay! Oh, sweet. We can see the. Okay, that's nice. We can see the improvement there. That's cool. Go Bitbuster. Oh, we got a new message. I guess you could, you get Go Bitbuster if you improve your time. Okay, so Caitlin's maze. I definitely remember this level. It was like really wide and open, and there's like tons of random stuff all over the place. I love it. Okay. And there's like this water room that was in the upper right, I recall. Yeah, I remember the fire. He had the teeth there. Yeah, and there's, yeah, there's the water room. Okay. Okay, and yeah, there's the teeth. There's the teeth. Okay, so let me show you what I think was the issue before. Also, this is not a maze. Yeah, in the original, the glider was stuck between the socket and the exit, and it made it unsolvable. So I don't understand why in the original they, the, uh, the whole thing was like that. I mean, maybe when this was placed in the testing phase for this game, there was... somebody caught that and was like, oh, hey, that's unsolvable, you need to fix that. Okay, let's try this again. Let's be serious this time. We, we don't really want to be fooling around here with this. Yeah, it's, it's really refreshing to see all these blasts from the past, from the CC1 days. Okay, there you go. Whoa, 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 Nelly Furtado. Okay. It's, I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. This is a nice, easy level. 
Also, have you noticed that some levels have like 9x9 windows and some of them have larger ones? It's interesting, like, you can have 9x9 windows or I guess 10x10 windows. Okay. Teeth, stop being a jerk. Thank you. Sincerely, JB. Okay, and that's for... Okay. You stay away from me. I need a yellow key somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's got to be somewhere here. Where is the... Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we need to blow these up or something. Okay, you, you die. Thank you. Alright, so now we can get into the fiery areas. Yellow key! Yay! Okay, what's in here? What's this icy... Okay, the chip. That's right! I remember the cross there! That's right, the cross! I totally forgot about that. Okay, there's like gliders everywhere in this room, I think. Yep, there's the gliders. Oh man, this level brings back so many memories. It's just crazy. I wonder who designed this, though. I don't know who, what the name of the person who designed this was. Okay, well, we can now get out. And, well, except for this thing. Blob, I really wish you would get out. That would really help this out a lot. In fact, you know what? I don't have a lot of time. Ugh. I want to wait for the blob to go far away so I can do this whole socket thing. Okay, here you go. No! Mmm! Caitlin! Why do you have to design this level this way? Ah, Caitlin, you are a mean, mean level designer. Okay. So wait, the yellow. Okay, we need to get the the fire boots first, right? Oh, pfft. wow. What am I doing? Man, I, need, I should probably take a break. I've been going at this for a while now. But I cannot stop. This is so much fun. I mean, guys, it's Chips Challenge 2. And also, I don't think you even need the ice skates, do you? I don't think you do. In fact, I'm pretty sure you don't need them. I love how there's all these monsters just randomly going everywhere. In fact, I have to wonder if there is a way to solve this with randomness as kind of a, whoa... Like, you, like, there's some lucky situation that you can get where monsters blow up those bombs and you don't even have to get a block over there. Man, there's going to be a lot of crazy optimization levels in this set. Okay. Come on. There you go. I think I've started to get, like, a nice route going here. Oh, wait. I can just do this. Okay, never mind on the randomness. I don't think I even need to blow up a bomb since they're... I want to say that that was open the whole time. Unless there was a fireball that went in there, which I guess is understandable. Okay. That's right, I need to go into this other room. Yeah, you don't need the ice skates, that's nice. Okay, oh that's right, there's only three in this room, aren't there? What?! I thought that was safe to collect. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. What are you doing there? I am thankful, though, that there aren't any chips under blocks. That is nice. Bummer. See, I could have totally done that in Chips Challenge 1. I could have totally done that. At least I think you can. Maybe in Lynx, there, depending on the tick you're on, you may not be able to. Okay. It seems like the, the teeth move a slightly ahead of your movement. Okay, yeah, there's a bomb there. So yeah, the, I think a fireball destroys that or something. Man, this is a crazy level. I love it. I, I love just how chaotic this is. I think the title is a little bit of a misnomer, though, but uh, other than that, it's fun. Yay, alright. We can just safely go in here. Alright, so now we've got fire. Got ice. Then we got water. Okay, so all we need to get are these. There we go. We don't need to explore anything else. We can just get out of here. Get the last few chips. Oh boy, we got Chaos City here. Okay, come on. Thank you. Wow, that was way more difficult than it needed to be. 
In this next lesson, Ship, you will learn many strange things, including how this game is wired. <gasps> we get introduced to wires! We get introduced to wires, guys! Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Stand on the brown buttons to open the traps. I guess kind of, like, close the traps. This is kind of fun. So do you go on the... Yep, you do. You go right off the hint. That was fun. Really clever. Ooh, railroad. Okay, once you get on a railroad track, you can only change directions at junctions. Railroad tracks can only be entered from an open end. It's like, I can't do this. Okay, so... Like that? Oh, so I can... I have to live with the choice I made there, basically. Okay, I see how this works. So I have to keep on going through each of these. Fascinating, okay. Ghosts cannot go through steel walls. <gasps> ghosts! Oh man, I've been looking forward to the ghosts. I've been looking forward to the ghosts so much. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Alright, what do we have here? Ghosts will not cross water, and apparently not turtles. Alright. Ghosts will not cross custom walls or floors. That's nice. Kind of a relief. Nothing else here. If you bump into walls while carrying the steel foil, it will turn them into steel walls. Use the foil to trap the ghosts. Alright. Trap you. Oh, we're going to lose that. Aww. Pick up the RR sign to cross the railroad track. Uh-oh. What's this? You will need these fire boots to enter the rover room. The rover monsters change moods now and then. Watch them carefully. The shield will protect you from all monsters. <gasps> Yay, the helmet! Okay, let me try bumping into them. Ha! Ha! Yes! Oh, that's so cool. Purple buttons can be wired to things. This one is wired to two purple toggle doors. The purple buttons turn wires on when something holds them down. Some purple toggle doors are open when their input is on. Some are closed. They change state when their input changes. Okay, so let's go through here first. So I take it if you just press it, it's not gonna... Okay, you have to have a block holding it down, apparently. No, you can't hold it down, but then you t turn it off when you go off. Alright. Fair enough. What do you have here? Wired traps are open when their input is on. Okay, so you can wire traps and the purple toggle doors. Okay, I'm with you so far. Wires can go through steel walls. I don't think they can go through normal walls, though. Can you slide through traps? No! You cannot slide through traps. Fascinating. Purple buttons can be wired to other things, like clone machines. Uh, Let's do that. There you go. Do we need to clone one here for... Well, that's just gonna tra- okay, never mind. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Purple buttons can be wired to flame jets. Flame jets can change state when their input goes from off to on. Well, there are apparently stuff underground here. The wire tunnel's under the floor here. Nice. Okay, so those, I don't need to hold them down, apparently. Well, that's handy. So what determines whether you need to hold something down or not? That's what I'm curious about. <gasps> the bowling ball! The bowling ball is in the house! The bowling ball is in the house! When you drop a bowling ball, it rolls until it hits something. Stand on the red arrow facing the red bomb and drop the bowling ball. So I wonder... Do you lose it if it goes into a wall? I don't really want to test that right now. I'm sure we'll be able to test that at some point. Bowling balls can pick up tools. Roll this ball over the flippers to hit the green toggle button. Oh yeah, because we're not Melinda. Let's see what happens here. Oops. Uh. Okay, now I can drop things because it's cycled through. What? Oh, the bowling ball was supposed to collect and use the flippers. Oh! We're stuck, no! Okay, try again. Man, that was a bummer. So apparently, I guess bowling balls die in water, like, and they can use items like ship can. Man, that's interesting. Fascinating. Okay. All right, so we get to go through all this again. 
So like, you cannot go backwards. Like I have to keep going in the direction I started in with these railroad tracks. It's an interesting idea. Hmm. I bet there's some pretty crazy levels you can make with that idea. So it seems like ghosts also behave like gliders. They turn left, I guess? Well, not necessarily. I don't know. Okay, let's trap you again. That is such a cool concept. Oh, we get to turn all these. Ooh, we can we can brush past them like block slapping. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna live dangerously. I'm gonna collect the helmet. Yeah, I'm curious how that determines whether you need to hold stuff down or not. Hmm. I'm, I'm just looking for something that looks different, other than the fact that those were tunneled. Thank you, that noise was getting horrible. Yeah, I don't get why, uh... Maybe it's just that it depends on the object they're hooked up to. Maybe that's how you do it. Alright, I don't want to take any more risks with these bowling balls, so let's just be really careful here. Yeah! Alright. The bowling ball is going to be so epic to make custom levels with, man. Okay, yeah, it tells us to roll it over the flippers. Okay, so it hits something and it blows up. So you you do waste it if you were to just hit into a random wall. Okay, if a teleport exit is blocked, you are teleported next... <gasps> Partial posting! Alright! Sweet, they even give us a nice little thing here. Push this block between the two red arrows to block the teleport and exit. Awesome. You will have to get this ball to go through the yellow teleport to destroy the ball. <gasps> YELLOW TELEPORT! If all yellow teleport exits are blocked in the direction you're going, you will pick up the teleport. First move the teleport into the bomb hallway, then move the bottom teleport in front of the ball. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. This is- it's just like Portal. It's just like Portal. Okay, so then we do this. We move up here, and then, voila! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Awesome! Alright, we're gonna stop there for now and continue next time with Mazes, level 51! This is going so well, it is fun, it is just entertaining, I'm having a blast. So until next time guys, thank you for all so much for watching! Oh man, it's gonna be fun to do the latter three quarters of the game. We are f just one quarter through. Imagine just how crazy this is gonna be. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and I will catch you on the flip side. So take care and I will see you next time.